surreal. That's what pilot Mark Ockers is calling his emergency landing into Lake Norman. You know, it flashed through my mind for, you know, for, a, 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 you know, basically saying there's no other options but this. Tuesday evening, Ockers was on a routine test flight from Greensboro to Lake Norman Airport. But when he started his final approach to this runway, his engine died and he had a matter of seconds to make some pretty difficult choices. Basically flew it until it wouldn't fly anymore and just, uh, at the end, I just remember stalling it, you know, to uh, try and make it as gentle as possible. I'm, and um, it really was not as eventful as I thought it would be. Ocker said his plane quickly started to fill with water. He was able to open the door on the first try, and in what he calls his Sully Sullenberger moment, he stood on the wing of the aircraft until a couple in a pontoon came to pick him up. It's kind of like driving a 1955 Cadillac at 70 miles an hour off a pier into a lake. Word of the water landing quickly spread through the hangars at Lake Norman Airport. Employees say no other pilot in the area could have done what Ockers did and walked away without a scratch. He's an excellent pilot and he's one of the few people that I would trust to do to handle uh, ditching in the in the water. From his waterfront home, Ockers can almost see exactly where he went down Tuesday night. He admits he can't stop going over the coulda, shoulda, wouldas in his mind, but above all, he's thankful he's okay. Once again, it's just a surreal experience and you never think it'll happen to you, um, but you know, it does and I guess that's what we go through all our training for. On Lake Norman, Becky B. Ryder, News 14, Carolina.